Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. So today's video, this is a major announcement. And this announcement means for a lot of us that not only did I win, but a lot of us won as well. So for those of you that didn't see my live stream the other night, I announced that I went back to work. So I am currently a New York City firefighter once again. Now, a lot of people are seemingly thinking, you know, that, well, how did you win? I'm going to get into that in a little bit. So now that I'm a, a fireman again, there were a lot of things that had to happen for me to get back to this point. And I didn't think any of it was going to happen. Like at one point, you know, I thought, okay, I just have to wait it out. It could be five or 10 years down the line. I thought it was going to be that much further away. I thought that was my timeline. So come to find out about early this year, I there were chances for me to get back on, but there were certain things I had to do to get back on that I wasn't willing to do. One of them was not taking the arm ticket. Taking the arm ticket wasn't the option. That was off the table, finally. But there were a couple of things that I needed to do, or rather one thing I needed to do to get back on, and I said no to that. And then I waited another couple months, and then they waived that bullshit that I had to do, or they wanted me to do, rather, sorry. And then they told me, you're back to work. And I'm like, just like that? They're like, yeah, just contact this person, email email this person, and they'll get you started. And from the moment of email to getting back on a job took about a month. So, how did I win? At first, or not at first, it didn't it doesn't really feel like a win let me start out by saying that it doesn't feel like a win it feels like a loss in the sense that i lost time i lost time at hanging out at the firehouse i lost time uh, hanging out with the with the guys from the firehouse i lost time going to fires more importantly and then i lost money which money you can always make back but you can't make back the other shit you can't make back the loss in time of you know enjoying the firehouse lifestyle so you that that's a wash. That's gone, right? Money I can always make back. I could work overtime or, or get a second gig or whatever it is. But for those who want to know how exactly I won, or rather we won, is that I didn't have to do something that was not needed. They were forcing people to do some shit we did not need and we did not want. And myself and thousands of others won this battle. Now, there were only a couple of hundred firefighters that did this, that took the stand. There were a couple of hundred, if I'm not mistaken, police officers and maybe a couple of hundred EMTs that took the stance, and we all won. We all got our jobs back without putting poison into our body. We didn't have to listen to some fucking asshole anymore tell us that we needed something that didn't work. We also now are seeing the repercussions of taking those said things those arm tickets and a lot of us don't have to deal with that shit anymore either so now how did we win we told the system to go fuck itself the system admitted they were wrong and the system is bringing us back on now the teachers were the bigger win out of all of this right the teachers won their back pay they got their time back there's no problems that went off without a hitch for some reason with police and fire Depends on who you are. It's going to dictate how you get back or how fast you get back, which is really, really annoying. I'm hearing that certain guys that left like I did are having an issue get back and then vice versa. I had somebody got back way before I did. So all of this, it, it's it's sort of up in the air and it needs to be just one blanket, bring everybody back all together. But nonetheless, a lot of us are coming back. Some guys don't want to come back. Some guys are like, you know what? Fuck it. I got my 20, 25 years. I'm out. But just to come back and let the city know that you won is all a lot of us need. If I retire tomorrow or next month or two years from now, I fucking won. We won because this sets the standard, guys, for any job around the country. And it's actually started with a, land, a, a landmark suit up north with the cops winning their jobs back because the, the PD, their PD, kicked them off for not taking the shot. And the judge found that to be unlawful and illegal. And in turn, they all got their jobs back. And that landmark case set the pace for everybody to come back to work. This should apply to even private businesses. 
And I think if you work for a private business and they let you go because you didn't want to take the arm ticket, you should sue the balls off of them using that president case. Anyway, and I got to find the case. I keep saying I'm going to find it. I keep getting distracted. Nonetheless, guys, we won. Because now we, we told the city, go fuck yourself as a whole. We're not going to do, we're not going to put something into our body that we don't need. We're not going to listen to your unlawful and illegal demands on putting some shit in our body we do not need. And now here we are, almost two years later, and now they admitted defeat by saying, we got to bring these people back. We fucked up. And as simple as that. Now, I know some of you are going to raise the question as to what if this happens again? I can say almost with a clear conscience that this is not going to happen again. They can't. With these landmark lawsuits being won all over the country, not just that one up north from me, I think it was like Rhode Island or Massachusetts, some shit, not just that case, but all over the country, these cases are being won. I cannot see private businesses and organizations like fire police, no matter where you are in the country, doing this shit all over again. But, but if they do, if they drop the hammer again, I'm going to walk again. There is no wavering. There is no, oh man, you know, I, I really love my job. I'll stay this time. Nope. I'm going to bounce. I said before one of my videos a couple weeks ago, a lot of people are not going to be able to go through this again. I'm absolutely mentally prepared to go through this again because I know what I went through the first time. So if this does come again, which it is unlikely, but if it does, I will be prepared for whatever bullshit comes behind it. And I will walk off the job yet again. It's that simple. A lot of us learned about ourselves during this time. We learned about ourselves when we watched cities and states fire their employees, put us in a bad position, and then, tell, and then blame us. Well, they left on their own. Well, we were forced to go. And the problem with it is, guys, is that they are blaming, they still do. They still blame us for leaving. They still said, well, you left on your own accord. We were forced out. States and cities all over the country who forced their employees to leave or, or quit, they blame us for leaving because they told us, well, we gave them the choice. That's not a choice. It really isn't. But they seem to think so, and that's the, the, the angle that they're going to push. Whatever, whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you happy. But again, we won, and we will no longer let politicians, like the pussies they are, push us around and tell us what's up. We know what's up. We know what's, what's good for us. Now, if the state and city stay, stays out of the next whatever pandemic comes our way, whatever arm ticket gets released, if they stay out of our way, they'll be fine. But if not, the repercussions is less employees for your city, more crime, more bullshit, more people getting hurt. Now, people saw the problem with PD, and the PD problem started well before the arm ticket. They had that problem already fucking going. And then you had the arm ticket enter, and a lot of cops all over the country retired or quit. And a lot of cops did. You don't hear that in the you don't hear that in the news. They don't talk about it. But I've spoken to enough cops who told me other agencies, motherfuckers were walking away. Whether it was 20 guys or 100, guys were walking away. They weren't hearing this shit. They were like, fuck that, fuck this. I'm going to be the fucking the captain of my own ship and not let some politician sitting in his AC fucking room decide what I need to put in my body, especially when what was being told to be put in our body didn't work. So again, those of us pure bloods, we're still fucking doing good. We're still hanging in there and we don't have to worry about bullshit issues popping up in the future. Anyway, guys, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching.